What's up guys, it's Chris with Manga here. I'm going to review this week's chapter of Naruto. Um, to be honest, this is a really good chapter. As I said before, this is what I hoped. And this is what I wanted to happen um, this week. A chapter involving the Kage's and Sasuke's um, supposed questions. Now, um, you know, if I was supposed to give this a brief summary, basically it's just it's Cage's... Um, each one, you know, I think up to the, the first, second, and third actually answering Sasuke's particular questions. Well, not the first, but the second and um, the third. And then um, we just kind of get to see the Cage's personalities. So I think the biggest thing about this chapter was that, um, was the reveal of actual the first Okage's personality. We kind of suspected what the um, second was like because, um, you know, we've seen a couple of flashbacks of him actually talking, and, you know, we see that he has that, you know, that serious demeanor. He's. He, you know, it's a badass, basically. He's quite serious. But we've never really seen what the first Sukage's personality was like. And um, I was, you know I mean, I was completely surprised to see that this guy is, is like a copy of Naruto, or Naruto a copy of him. They are so similar in personality, and that kind of this literally reinforces the statement that Madara made previously that, you know, he can see um, the first Sukage in Naruto, basically. Um, he has his spirit. And this is basically makes so much sense because he's just like Naruto. He's look like he's easy going. He's funny. I mean, like when the first, when the fourth said, you know, we've been res resurrected. First of all, he's like, huh? Who are you? But like he does it in a, such a comical way where you're just like, why is that? I didn't know he acts like that. And then when he found out, he was just so excited. He's like, wow, that means the village has been stable for a long time. You know, I'm really cool about this. And then he even says, no. So who's the fifth then? And then when they said, um, Sinada, he was like, oh my god. My granddaughter, because he, you know, he probably still sees her as a little, as a little kid. He doesn't know that she's evolved since then. She's become a really strong shinobi. So he's like, oh my god, all the videos okay. But uh, then you know, we move through other things now. And then you know, Sasuke actually yeah, asks his um, the third. You know, uh, did you really, you know, make it actually kill the Uchiha clan? And then the third is like, yeah, we said sorry. But he said, you know, Itachi, he's, he has the demeanor or mentality of of a, of a Hokage since he was seven years old. So he knew what was important to the village. He knew what was important, basically. Not just one clan, but the whole entire village as a whole was more important than the clan. And because of that, he wasn't t tied by his clan, um, you know. But he wasn't tied by the, 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 the teaching of his clans, basically. He just wanted to, you know, protect the village and protect the people that live in the village. So, um, because of that, they trusted him with the task of actually, um, you know, eliminating the Uchiha clan as well as spying on the Akatsuki after he left. But, you know, like, it, 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 the third is basically saying uh, he's like a one-of-a-kind shinobi. He, he, you know, I mean, there's not many people like Itachi anymore. And um, because of that, you guess he's grateful for the sacrifice he made. I think Sasuke kind of, Sasuke kind of got that. And then um, the the second Kagi, which, like, he's kind of a dick in this chapter but like he's cool that is it's kind of like the douche that you actually like you're like all right he's a bit of a dick but you know he's cool um he was saying you know right the uchiha clan you know you're like a clan filled with hatred and you know what i mean you're basically you're cursed you're cursed of hatred basically you're not hatred is your power and you're never gonna get rid of it because he explains how the uchiha their strongest power is actually um their power is derived from love basically love is their true power and um once they um lose that love they can slowly transformed to hatred and that makes it that much stronger because their eyes he basically described the Sharingan of the eyes of love um, basically um, once they witness the death of someone then they can evolve and constantly grow stronger as they move towards darkness hence the Magekio Sharingan and all the, the crazy shit that comes with so he was and then you know um, he basically says that because of that he he actually gave the Uchiha you know a job that they, they were good at you know mon being the Shinobi police and then in that sense, you can actually monitor them as well. Um, you know, keep them on the outskirts of the village, so they're not really getting, not involved in anything, and then they can keep an eye on them quite easily. And then um, the first actually wasn't at first. At Hokage didn't agree with these captains saying that you know I told you um, not to persecute the Uchiha like that. You know, what I mean, stop saying bad shit about them. They're not that not not all like that. And he's just like, nope, I don't care. I don't want another murderer to show up. And he's like, you know what, how terrible matter was, so, you know, shut your mouth, basically. He, like, he's literally the big, he's like the boss of his big brother, like, he, like, he even told him to shut up at one point, like, the, when, um, uh, Marucci Mara was talking about the, um, what was he talking about? He was talking, I think he was talking about, the yeah, Edo Tensei, and then, you know, he's like, yeah, your jutsu isn't that hard to learn, like, I learned it quite easily, and he's like, right, he's still using my jutsu, and then, um, Hashirama must have said, um, I told you, you know, that jutsu and then he was just meant shut up. 
be quiet. I'm talking to this youngster right now, and he's like, but he's like silence. So like, uh, I know it's, I know it, um, the first Akaka is probably still stronger than his brother, but like, his brother is so serious to the point that he takes charge. Like he's the one. He's basically the boss. I'm, I guess all the fucked up shit, all the messed up things that happen in um, Hokage, like you know, Don, the Donzo stuff that used to happen, they pretty much derived from him because he's like the darker side of um, the two. Like, I think uh, Mashima is the light. Tabirama is like the darker side. It's like basically the third and Donzo all over again. They are basically like kind of you know two sides of the coin. But um, yeah, I think that was the best thing about this chapter. Literally, this kind of you know knowing what the Kages were like, I'm um, actually seeing their personalities and, uh, sh and I, I'm guessing um, you know as we progress through this you know f um, you know these couple of chapters we're gonna find out more about the, the fourth and what what I was thinking about while this was going on I'm guessing the fourth isn't aware that um, isn't aware of Naruto at this point because the fourth that was inside of Naruto was a piece of his chakra which wasn't really his soul that was just you know is um is essence is present inside of Naruto, so this fourth is the actual soul of the fourth Hokage, and he doesn't know really know what's going on. He doesn't know that um, you know Naruto you know defeated Pain. He doesn't know about the village being destroyed or anything like that. He's still oblivious to all that stuff. So I'm guessing um he's gonna be informed of it right now, and maybe maybe even get to see Naruto. You don't know like he's at a tense right now, so maybe they're gonna you know go to the battlefield of some sort to get to see what's going on or meet Naruto properly. I hope that really happens because I want his actual soul to actually meet Naruto and see how much he's grown and progressed. That would be really cool. Um, it's the same that like Kishina didn't have the same, um, you know, didn't get the same opportunity to do the same thing as well. But you know, at least her essence saw it and you know passed on. But um, yeah, literally that's the chapter. In the, I find it, and the chapter ended with Sasuke literally asking um, the first that you know I've got some questions for you. What are Shinobi's and what is the village? I'm guessing he wants to know what what's so important about the village and that like, what is the obligation or the job of Shinobi's. Which is obviously, you know, I think, you know, in olden, in, you know, actual, you know, real ninjas, of, a, a shinobi is a soldier, you know what I mean? They follow orders and they, you know, sometimes it's, it's suicide missions and they just do it because they follow orders. That's the job of a shinobi. They're, they're, so, they're soldiers um, and they make sacrifices. But, um, you know, I guess I guess the, the, the job of a shinobi is this similar to Naruto world, but might slightly vary in, sorry, uh, might slightly vary compared to the actual, you know, real definition of a ninja. This one, so I'm guess um, Hashiram is going to give some proper like deep. Well, based on his personality, it's not going to be deep because if he's like Naruto, like talking isn't going to be his strong suit. Like, <laughs> uh, we might as bonk Sasuke on the head and say stop being stupid. But um, yeah, good chapter. I hope I didn't really miss anything um, serious. It's I think the meat of the chapter literally came from um, the second Kage speech about the Uchiha clan and you know what what they are and what how their power comes. You know what I mean and why they're like. Uh, a problem for the village basically he just he just doesn't trust them he's just like he doesn't give a shit man he's just like he, i think he's like he's anti uchiha literally but not to the point where he'll steal the eyes and put them in his arm like don said that was just psycho but anyway guys if you enjoyed the review and if you enjoyed the chapter um you know give this video a thumbs up it helps us a lot and stay tuned for more videos this is christmas c manga and i'll see you guys later